Hey folks, Pulitzer, welcome back to another uh, Paul Massa video. And before we get into this, spoiler warning, right, if you don't want to... Although, I, I don't know why people... <laughs> it's it's a it's a game. It's going to come out sooner or later. Um, it's going to get leaked eventually uh, as, as well, right, with data mines and stuff. But anyways, um, whatever. Spoiler warning, if you don't want to see this, go do something else, right? Um, that being said, let's, uh, let's, let's go over uh, some stuff. So recently... Um, the yeah, rumors are at it again, right? With uh, some of the stuff floating around, and uh, again, like usual, stuff coming around at this time, highly speculative. It's not obviously nowhere near confirmed. Do not use the word confirmed. That's a very, 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 very hard word to use. A lot of people don't know how to use that word. Um, but uh, again, obviously, nothing's ever 100% confirmed until it's in the game uh, in this period they can still change stuff move stuff around the time periods might be wrong this and that all that um, like you know last time with the 1.5 year anniversary a lot of things were wrong right a lot of people are sending me it's like just fake stuff that people made up for clout right um, that became like entirely entirely untrue like there was like something about like oh Charizard's good like <laughs> like this like huge you know thing that was spreading like wildfire amongst people it's like oh uh, Leon's gonna be a support with like, I don't know, support stuff, which is like, what the heck? That makes no sense. Um, and it obviously became untrue. But again, like I mentioned before, highly sensitive stuff here. Um, just take it with a huge grain of salt, right? So if it, it turns out not to be exactly what these are, don't get disappointed or, or don't say, you know, whatever, right? Um, that being said, let's uh, let's get into the stuff. So, um, the stuff over here is this. Um, so, we don't exactly know where the source is coming from. Um, I mean, I highly doubt the source wants to be known. That would be pretty stupid of them if they do. Um, and... These are some, which looks like potential in-game beta screenshots, whatever, right? Um, so let's, I don't know, let's go over them, right? So from uh, the get-go, as you can see, these are potentially Easter units, which, by the way, that looks absolutely adorable. <laughs> uh, we don't have, like, the full body yet for the May, Easter May and Lopunny, Mega Lopunny as well. Uh, but that looks like the cutest thing ever. And I, <laughs> it's, it looks, it looks really, really good. And then we got uh, Easter Berg and Togepi as well over here, right? So that could potentially, again, be the Easter um, sync pairs over there. And then we, looks like we're finally getting um, Leaf EX with a grid over here, which is also cool. Uh, Guzma EX, which looks amazing, by the way, those colors. I love those colors, man. Oh my God. And then Berry EX, which looks, um... I don't know. It's it's okay, I guess. It's slightly surprising because, you know, if you uh, look back at, like, Brendan EX or May EX, they usually, like, go with the um, the first evolution colors. This one just went with, like, Empoleon colors, which, again, they don't really do too often, but they did go with that, which is nice, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's that, that's cool, right? Um, but, yeah, like, oh, my God, that May looks really, really, really nice. <laughs> May looks really, really nice. Um, Berg looks, uh, uh, Berg looks very, uh, Berg looks like an Alice in Wonderland character, <laughs> I guess that's, I gotta say there, um, with, with Togepi, which, uh, you know, obviously Togepi, although Togepi, it's kind of a weird fit, considering, like, usually seasonals, they do give the, uh, the trainers, like, Pokemon that they sort of have some, I guess, connection with, right, um, you know, uh, uh, the Christmas Seabolt had Octillery, which is water type. He's the water type Elite Four. Uh, Summer Steven had Alolan Sandslash, which is a part steel type. Um, uh, Halloween Acerola had Mimikyu, which, I mean, you guys get the connection there, right? And then, uh, Skyla had, uh, Togekiss, which is part flying type. Erica had Confi, which, I mean, it's literally a bunch of flowers, right? It's a, it literally a flower wreath. Um, New Year's Lands had, had, had Gyarados, which was on his team, obviously. Um, and what else we got? Oh, 
Uh, well, I guess the, there's nothing to talk about protagonist because protagonist could literally have any Pokemon. And then now we have Berg with Togepi, which, um, again, Togepi makes sense in terms of, like, the Easter thing, but I, I, I just don't know, um, in terms of, like, Berg having it, <laughs> personally. Uh, also, Easter Sabrina, um, again, another uh, seasonal shaft. Uh, but then again, I mean, she, I get it. She's a gym leader. The chance of her, like, getting a seasonal sync bears is super high, although we did just get one with Berg and Togepi. So that's another um, seasonal gym leader, which, again, does give us some hope. <laughs> or at least me. I don't, I don't know about you guys. Or at least does give me some hope about a, a seasonal Sabrina in the future. Um, especially since Berg is not as popular as Sabrina, I'd say, probably. Um, well, I wouldn't say... I, 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 definitely not as popular as uh, Sabrina, right? Um, so yeah, uh, seasonal, uh, gym leaders in the future, very, very, very likely, right? Uh, which is nice. So, also, some other stuff, the Alolan sync pairs, uh, turned out they are, um, Celine and, and Elio, right? And they are Decidueye and Primarina, the female protag, again, gets another grass-type starter, which is Oh, whatever, man. I don't know. I just find it really, really lame that female protags just keep on getting, like, the like, grass starters, right? The only ones without it is, like, Chris, but, like, like that's, like, because Lyra got <laughs> Meganium. <laughs> and then you got, like, like Hilda with Embor, and then Gloria with Sation, because, you know, she didn't get a starter at all, right? Is there anyone else? Uh, I guess Serena with Fennekin and, and May with um, Mudkip, like, all the others, like, Rose Superior... Uh, Dawn, Torterra, now Celine, Decidueye, Lyra with, um, Meganium. Since Since you'll leave with Venusaur, like, okay, can we, like, <laughs> throw some other types around for, for the female protags? Uh, but yeah, yeah, she is with the, um, you know, grass type starter, which you do see her a lot in a lot of, like, uh, Sun and Moon pr promotional material, uh, being with, um, Rowlet and stuff, right? Uh, Elio and Primarina makes sense that probably potentially leaves, um, Mass Royal, if he ever comes to the game, right, uh, to be the one with Incineroar, which, thinking about that, right, in terms of, because Al Alola still hasn't had a Pokefair yet, and if these two aren't Pokefair, which very, very likely they won't be, right, because, um, you know, the, the starters... And assume they evolve. Yep, yep, yep. They say they evolve because all these, uh, all the protagonists that have starters that evolve, are all spotlight scouts, right? Every single one of them, without exception, uh, have been uh, spotlight scouts against starters that evolve. Um, so doesn't seem like they're gonna be poke fairs, which doesn't leave too many more options for poke fairs for for Alolan trainers, because um, like uh, is like. Lana, Kiawe, are they really going to be Poke Fair? Is Hala really going to be a Poke Fair? Like, uh, Faba? Like, the closest one I would, I would think is probably Mass Royal, right? So, maybe we're going to get a Mass Royal um, a Poke Fair, which the other thing that also makes um, that theory make a lot of sense is because uh, Incineroar, right? Um, since it's... Since I don't really see him getting a... a, a a Litten evolving all the way into Sinor, he's probably just going to get in Sinor from the get-go because, you know, in Mass Royal, you never really fight him with a Litten, right? When you're actually fighting Mass Royal, he, like, he just has, like, the Incineroar, right? Um, which, in that case, having a starter that doesn't evolve, right, like Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, those are Pokefairs, so does lend some theory into, you know, Mass Royal being the Alolan Pokefair, which does make some sense, right? Um, as for the the details um sync move moonlight leaf blade sync move sunshine oceanic uh operetto and then you got um uh uh the premier in a special or water special and then yeah um wise grass physical this is not surprising obviously every one of the starters go with their primary type water fire and grass right they never they never go with their you know secondary type right um moving on on or, or i guess not moving on moving back <laughs> to to these right um again leaf's grid could be potentially interesting right if you get like recuperation or something is some sort of like self-healing um on her grid which is very very likely if you look at like for example xerneas's grid right because xerneas is single balls doesn't do damage uh that could be something that 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 she could do uh she could you know if she could actually buff something that would be also nice outside of her sink because like she's a support but she doesn't buff like anything 
at all, like outside of her sync. If you don't sync, you're not buffing. Like, okay, you get some move gauges back with your train move. Like, that's about it, right? And then potion. Um, so hopefully she does get a, a really, really nice sync. Something like similar to like what uh, Hilper got would be really, really nice, right? Because Hilper got like a lot of stuff that he never should have got, right? Um, it just like add ons on top of add ons to like his, his add on effects to his like moves, which was really, really nice. So I do hope that's something that Leaf could get on her trainer move, right? So that could make her really potentially really, really nice. Uh, Guzma EX is okay. I mean, he does have catastrophe. Um, Barry X all really, really nice. He is a good sync nuke, although, uh, he does did kind of lost lose his role, um, since May came out because like. Barry's only real purpose of sync nuking is regular bubble beam damage is kind of trash. Um, well, not kind of, it's really bad, right? So you only want him for sync nuking, and then, like, May, obviously, in that position, is just, like, the better option, like, every time. Um, so he did kind of lose lose his role there, but um, I don't know. If, if I guess if you don't have May, or if you don't plan on getting May in the future, you could go for that, maybe. Uh, it's just very not use useful um uh anymore again with, with may being a thing um moving on to or not moving on moving back to these two right lopany normal type physical prop i mean in terms of like lopany right it, um oh oh also these sync moves so this is the normal sync moves again sadly um but normal types are weird right if lopany is not attack or support if lopany is a striker um, normal types will have a difficult time just cause like, like normal types are just overall bad. Right. Um, I see a lot of people like, uh, like, oh my God, a lot of people have been like talking up like egg hangs on egg hangs on extremely overrated. It's extremely overrated. Um, like people think like, like he's like in terms of like egg monster, he's not bad, but like if you like compare it with like any regular striker, like it's not even close because normal types the big thing is unfortunately you do not get the two times multiplier which is an 100 percent boost on super effective moves right which you do not get so there are some options to make lopany good either you make her normal moves have like insane multipliers and it has to be more than two times right it has to be more than two times, which again is really really hard to give especially strikers strikers usually don't get that many multipliers right um, usually damage dealers are you know, with attacks in terms of like the big huge multipliers or stuff or she could get fighting type moves right like high jump kick or something um you know uh, after she megas or whatever right uh you give her like because yeah, she's not fighting type before she megas so like after she megas maybe you give her some fi uh, fighting type move like high jump kick or i don't even know what some other options the Lopany has. Uh, but high jump kick would be really, really nice um, to make her, like, do fighting damage instead of normal damage, right? Which is obviously much more superior uh, because of, again, type advantages. You can actually use it, uh, unlike, again, nor normal type moves, right? Um, as for Togepi, I don't know what the heck's going on with Togepi. Uh, it, it could do a lot of things. <laughs> It'll be like a, some, you know, it could be like some, like, weird metronome or, or some, like, weird support. Although, the other uh, odd thing is we already have like Tokus in the game, and then now we're getting Togepi again. Obviously, Togepi's Togepi, Tokus, Tokus, and Togepi obviously fits the theme more. It's an egg Pokemon thing, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know about like getting Metronome because like Clefairy probably would have been like the better fit for Metronome, and like Clefairy didn't get it. It's it's gonna be like hard to implement if they do make a Togepi that, so we don't know about that. Uh, it could be some support. I guess, um, Togepi does feel like a, a healer-ish support to me, right, it, that, that it could potentially, um, do over there, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, right, so anyways, um, that's gonna be this one, I guess, hope you guys enjoy, let me guys in the comments down below, like, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to channel for some more Poem Masses content, again, a lot of this very, very, very early on, things can change, this could all be fake with, like, some very, very good Photoshop skills, I mean, the Guzma, EX Alpha kind of looks kind of fan made, uh, but also looks really, really cool. So I hope it's real. <laughs> um, in terms of things, I hope is real. That may, oh my god, that may outfit. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, but anyways, um, have fun. Don't don't go too crazy over this, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.